What's up everyone, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Spy, Tesla, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm gonna break down what's happening with the market moving forward and give you guys a very important warning for tomorrow. But just note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. Anyways, Tesla has seen a very, very positive reaction after Elon Musk's conversation with former President Trump, not to mention the PPI data report, which is once again helping the market pump. But it's also the CPI report, as we're seeing some very, very positive expectations for inflation that just came out from New York surveys. This is very important because uh, if we do get a decent CPI, the market may get a very positive reaction again because it's once again anticipating a potential Fed cut very soon. And the market's liking this, right? But the only issue I have is what about the pivot? Are we going to see the market pump and then dump? Is the market going to slow down starting tomorrow? It's going to depend on a lot of different factors. So I want to talk about that really, really briefly. So just as you guys know, I said yesterday there's going to be a big move coming to the markets because of PPI data. And as you guys can see, right now, SPY is up about 1.5%. Tesla's up almost 5%. The QQQ is up over 2%. That's a pretty big move. Now, CPI comes out tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of volatility tomorrow. It's coming out an hour before the market opens. And just know there's a lot of manipulation involved, especially on CPI days. So what I do anticipate is that the data is looking pretty good. We're actually seeing, you know, once again, CPI on a downtrend right over here. Uh, this does not necessarily mean prices are going down. It just means the rates at which they're increasing is what's slowing down. And this is no surprise considering the high interest rates. Uh, we also saw crude futures still, it went up a little bit for July, but it's not that significant, which is why we're going to most likely get a decent CPI thanks to that. And also considering that PPI was decent, there's a good chance that CPI should be fine. So everything's pointing in the direction that the market's going to try to go higher. And yes, there's a good chance of that happening. My only concern, though, is, is this whole Middle East situation. If there's a big retaliation against Israel uh, by Iran and the other you know parties involved, you know, this could lead to a big move. So just be very mindful of this and just remember this just in case. But if this doesn't happen, I think the charts could go a little higher. Uh, I still think there's a good chance of that potentially happening. But I want to also call out the manipulation. So when we get good data, the market doesn't always just go up and up and up and up endlessly. When we get bad data, the market doesn't just always, it doesn't just drop, 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 drop forever. You guys know that, right? Sometimes you could get a good CPI, the market could pump and then end up getting a, you know, a rug pull. Sometimes the opposite could happen. So there's a lot of manipulation out there, especially as the market starts to just like price things in. So here's what I'm thinking. We might get a decent CPI and the charts look bullish. So we could get a temporary pump, but just be careful as we hit resistance. Tesla has some tough resistance approaching around this area. Around this 212 area, it's going to be kind of tough alongside 208. So watch 208 is a tough resistance. And then if that breaks, we have that 211 to 212 area. It's going to be pretty tough. We'll see if Tesla breaks that or not, if we do go higher after CPI comes out, or do we get a pivot? Do we push and then end up dumping? We'll just have to wait and see. But just keep this in the back of your guys' minds. Just know there is manipulation on the CPI days. The data is most likely going to be decent from what I'm looking at. And there's a good chance that the market will try to go higher. But I'm just warning you all that I don't know if the move is going to last forever. Uh, there might be some profit taking and such. So just be careful. Uh, and just keep this uh, as a very, very important warning. So if you're holding anything overnight, yes, I think we could go higher tomorrow as long as we get a decent CPI. Uh, but with the external factors out there and such, I'm not necessarily like uh, betting too much. I'm not really uh, playing with too much money right now. I'm being very, very careful because I know there's a lot of risk right now, especially with what's going on involving Israel. So just keep this as a warning. Tesla's looking bullish right now. We're going to be looking at 208.5 followed by the 211 to 212 area as resistance. Our support's at 205. We're doing a great job at holding up, so we'll see how this progresses. SPY is holding up very nicely considering that we were in the basically 530s yesterday. The low 530s are now in the 540s, so it's on a very, very strong uptrend right now. Uh, we're trying to get back above 541. We called out 541, guys. I said if we broke 538, look at 541. And if that breaks... I'll be looking at essentially 544 as an exponential target if we manage to close above the 541s from a technical standpoint. Now, the daily looks very interesting. We look very bullish on the daily, so it suggests we might push a little higher. So we'll see if we break the 541s tomorrow. Our next target is going to be this 544 area. We'll see if SPY could break this, but the chart remains bullish nonetheless. We still look bullish, okay? I'm not really changing that view. So the charts are favoring upside. 
If you want to turn bearish, you want to see us basically lose 535. If that breaks, we could be coming down to not only fill this gap and continue lower. Uh, so we'll wait and see if we end up losing those supports. Uh, watch 538 and then 535, by the way. Sorry, guys, I forgot to mention 538. Those are going to be your key supports on SPY, but so far we are strongly favoring upside. There's no sign of this rejecting, so I think that this chart might be very um, excited approaching CPI and it may continue to pump. So yes, we could go higher, but just know sometimes on CPI days we do pivot. So just be mindful of that just to be safe. Um, for NVIDIA, we look very bullish right now. We managed to hold above 113. I said if that holds, look for 116. That's where NVIDIA is now at testing resistance. If we break that, I think we could get very close to about that 120 area, not to mention the fact that we have that gap to fill all the way up around 120. 2.5. So we look bullish. We look very bullish. I think NVIDIA is going to try to push higher, most likely based off technicals. But if CPI is hot, we'd be watching 112. If we lose that, we'll be coming back down towards that gap fill down to 108. So yes, the chart looks bullish. I'm not really denying that, but I'm just saying to be careful with CPI. You never know what's going to happen. Most likely CPI should be fine in my opinion, but uh, just to be very, very mindful of everything. There's sometimes manipulation on CPI days, so just be prepared for that. Bitcoin looks more bullish. We're looking at 60,000, almost 61,000 resistance. If that breaks, I'll be looking for basically 62,000. So it looks pretty good. For others out there like um, the QQQ, we look pretty good as well. Um, we're, we got a nice break of resistance. I called out 462 to be looking uh, to be watched as resistance. That's very close to where we are. Watch 464 above that. If that breaks, we're going all the way up towards 472. If we don't uh, hold above 460, make sure you watch 458 as critical support, followed by 455. If that breaks, there's going to be a big rug pull all the way down to 450. So we have a critical support at 455 and that gap below. But so far, the chart is favoring upside. There's no sign that the market's rejecting. We still look bullish. Same thing with Apple. Apple is looking quite bullish. I called out 123 to potentially be targeted if we break past 122. And then if we end up losing 119, I'd be looking for this gap fill towards 117. The chart looks bullish. The chart looks like it wants to continue to push to at least 222 plus. So we look pretty good. We'll see what CPI gives us. But just know that all these catalysts are coming out. So if you're going to hold anything overnight, just be careful. That's what my warning is. Russell's looking bullish. If we hold above 107, uh, 207, excuse me, we're going all the way up to about 209. And if we lose 205, look for a rug pull for 203. The charts still remain bullish. Coin is going for 200. Looks pretty good. Amazon's going for the gap fill towards 171. We'll see if that holds. Uh, I called out the gap fill at 171, and that's very close to where Amazon has pumped to. Uh, I think we actually reached 171. We came very close to it. So yes, we went for the gap fill exactly as I predicted on Amazon. On Meta, I said we might get very close to 530. Lo and behold, that's what happened. We called out every single one of these levels. And if that breaks, we're just going to continue to push to this imbalance. Our next target on Meta would be 534. And our support to be watching for us around 525. Overall, the chart remains bullish. Uh, Microsoft looks bullish. We're basically looking for this to potentially start testing. Um, well, as long as it holds 412, our next target is going to be closer to about 420. And then we also have Google. Google's looking pretty good here as well. We'd be looking at 167 as resistance. So like I said before, we're looking good right now. The VIX is looking bearish. Market's looking bullish. The dollar is dropping as well. So far, the bulls have a big edge. But just know the VIX is approaching 17.35 or 200 EMA. Is the VIX going to bounce here? Because historically, there have been a lot of instances where we did bounce off our 200 EMA. So we're approaching support on the VIX. Uh, so we'll see. What I'm trying to warn you all about is this. Yes, the market's going to likely go higher, but tomorrow, are we going to see a pivot? Are we going to pump and pump and pump price in CPI then start to see a dump? Or are we just going to keep going? We'll just have to wait and see. So be careful, especially with all the news involving Israel. That's still very tense. The market still looks bullish. And so far, we're looking pretty good. So yes, we favor upside, but just be careful with my warning. All right. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Let's hope Tesla tries to break that resistance around that 208 area and starts pushing higher, especially heading into tomorrow. But just be careful. Like I said before, there's nothing wrong with managing risks. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in just a couple of hours and peace out.